Hello and welcome back to Run Level Zero. Uh, today we're t continuing our look at the different desktop implementations of Manjaro Linux and I just did my KDE desktop review. One of the things that uh, I really like about Linux is that sometimes you find a nice Easter egg in there and I really wanted to to bring this out to you, show you what, what's available in this KDE uh, version of Manjaro Linux. I initially, this is my actually my second time doing this video. The first time I did my KDE review I just kind of touched on this but I didn't feel it did it justice. So I wanted to come back and, and give this portion its own look, its own video and show you what you can really do here. So what am I talking about? When you install the KDE version of Manjaro Linux and you're at the login screen at the very bottom you have this little arrow that is your session manager so you click that and you can see that they have Razer desktop installed this is the Razer QT desktop environment and we're going to select that and log in now the Razer desktop environment is often inappropriately labeled more like KDE's slim brother and it really isn't the the only real uh, things that 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 Razer and KDE have in common is that they're both based on QT apart from that Razer is really its own desktop and I don't think it's been given enough credit uh, in the Linux community it is a newer uh, desktop environment. It's only been around for a little over a year, year and a half, but I really like the way they're going. As If you watch my videos, you know that I like the lightweight desktops uh, for my personal use. And Razer, Q, Razer QT can be really compared with LXDE. If, if you're familiar with LXDE, you'll, you'll feel a little bit better at home with uh, Razer QT if, if you like LXDE. In fact, recently uh, LXDE and Razer QT announced that they are going to be joining, uh, merging their projects and their development is underway for LXDE QT. One of the things that I really like about Razer QT above LXDE is their panel. Uh, Razer QT's panel, in my opinion, has more to offer than LXDE, and it seems to be a bit more polished. Razer QT also supports desktop widgets, it, um, but there aren't that many available right now. So we're going to take a, a peek at what this has to offer. Now, again, this, since this is running on the the KDE desktop version of Manjaro Linux, you have the same applications installed, and unfortunately it seems like this was either came bundled with the KDE desktop in installation or they just didn't take the time to configure it which I really th that's really a shame in my opinion I wish they would have taken some time and really themed this and developed it right uh, if you like the open box version of uh, Manjaro Linux you can get much the same effect here if if you were if you like the look and feel of Openbox Manjaro but would like something a bit more user friendly then this might be worth taking a look at for you and I'm about to show you what I mean by that one of the things you get with Razer QT and one of the things that has been more popular or what makes the Openbox desktop more popular is how slim the desktop is and you get that nice right click menu look at that we have it right here but you don't have to configure this menu Razer QT does this on its own and it is a nice just graphically visually appealing desktop or uh, menu system rather it's it just it looks good it feels good and it's ready to go for you out of the box you also have the same menu available in an application uh, launcher an application menu so if you prefer a more traditional looking desktop you can set it up that way and that's one of the real strengths of the Razer desktop is how configurable it is to configure the desktop 
you click on unlock the desktop and you can see the position of the widgets you can move those around to wherever you want them to be now again there aren't that many widgets that are available for the desktop um, you can add a new desktop widget here the only things that are available right now are the clock a, they call it hello world but it's where you can display text on the screen the icon view which is here it uh, shows you what's in your a specified directory so you can have it show what's in your desktop folder what's in your home folder any folder you want to on your system you can display the icons here or a notepad a screen notepad it's all it is is a notepad nothing's nothing fancy so when you lock the desktop you can see your stuff right where you had it before so they have the home folder here and again on this implementation of Razor you get Dolphin because that's what's installed on the KDE side one of the things I also like about the Razor desktop is the fact that it does not really come with its own window manager so you can set it to use whatever window manager you want so if you want a really lightweight system a slim system you could go with something like Openbox as your window manager or in this case I'm not exactly sure which one I think it's uh, TWM they're using and what's really cool about that let me open up a couple of uh, couple of windows here uh, let's go with let's open up a couple versions of Kate here so we have two as soon as it opens up we have two versions two instances of Kate running here with this window manager TWM I'm not really familiar with it I haven't used it that much but I know one of the things you can do with it is you can tab it you can attach it to as a tab to another open window so you can see we have the two versions of it open and running but they're tabbed so let's try I haven't tried this before let's try this out let's try opening up a web browser version of Reconk right click it attaches tab to Kate so now you see we have Reconk and we have two versions of Kate running on the same window so it makes window management much easier and you can close them all individually so I really like that. I think I'm going to be using that in the future. But you can just as easily switch a window manager to KWIN uh, if you want to get those desktop effects going. So you can really get the look and feel of a Manjaro open box. Let's see, we can move this up to the top. And let's do some configurations here. So you can really get a look and feel of Manjaro open box but get it in a more beginner friendly way something that's a little bit more flashy and you can do it fairly easily so let's lock this desktop let's change the background don't really want to go out and search oh here's some Manjaro stuff let's do uh, well, let's stick with the technology Manjaro from KDE that'll work so we can go ahead and remove the application menu let's uh, add a plugin for a let's do a quick launcher see if there uh, yeah there we go let's do a quick launcher now you probably didn't see that but it added the quick launcher right here but there's nothing in it so let's add uh, let's see here under system tools oops just lost it let's drag dolphin up there kinda of hard to hit it there let's try that again there we go and let's put our reconk web browser up there as well so we have a couple quick launchers and we have our pager quick launchers for uh, Dolphin Reconk we have our pager our clock and calendar the uh, network manager which my networks disconnected on it right now volume control let's see what is that removable media manager 
and our Razor Configuration Center. But you can also see that our open windows are here in the middle. So yeah, if you tweak this and configure it, spend a little bit of time with it, you can really get that open box look and feel with a more user-friendly uh, interface. So, and just bear in mind though, the application choices that you make are going to, and the, the, the compositing that you enable, the, the window manager that you choose, all that's going to affect the system resources that uh, Razor QT is going to demand. So it's probably not going to be as lightweight as OpenBox. However, I did some research and I found that Razor QT is very comparable with LXDE. They both run on a base configuration, default settings. They will run about 110, 115 megabytes. Uh, so that that's pretty that's pretty lightweight. I mean that that's darn slim. But of course. In fact, let's see if the uh, system manager is available here. There we go, system monitor. So right now, under this implementation, which you can see, we have great transparencies and all that going, and it's still only running on 330 megabytes of RAM, which, you know, that's not very slim, but for all the effects and everything that we have going here, that's not bad at all. So give Razer QT a try. I think you're going to like it. You're going to be pleasantly surprised. Well, thank you for joining me for another episode of Run Level Zero. I hope to be with you again soon for another video. Thank you.